Today we're gonna to be making one of my favorite recipes, meatballs. So let's get started with the meat. I'm gonna be using a combination of beef and pork. So we've got 300 grams of each. We're gonna also grab our eggs. So I've got the pork. The pork really adds um, that nice flavor. And then we've got our breadcrumbs. So I've actually made these. Um, I just had some stale bread and I blended it in the food processor. So that's gonna be about a quarter cup. This is gonna be our binder. After the breadcrumbs, we are going to be adding one egg. So I'm also gonna be adding some parsley to our mixture. This is gonna add a nice brightness and it's gonna make it a little bit fresh. We're gonna season with a pinch of pepper, two pinches of salt. Lastly, we're gonna add our Parmesan cheese. So I've got a nice firm Parmesan that's gonna give it our nice salty flavor. And that's also about a quarter cup. Okay, so that's our, our filling right here. I don't know one Italian that doesn't think that their meatball recipe is the best. I know my family, they're all trying to compete with each other about who makes the best meatballs. I personally think I do. So the base of the sauce is really simple. We're just gonna do um, a little onion and some garlic. For slicing garlic, we're just gonna smash it. The back of the knife, take all that skin off. And we don't wanna make the garlic too small because it will burn in the sauce. So I've got a nice deep saucepan here, which I'm gonna get preheated. I'm gonna be cooking with olive oil because that's what we do when we make meatballs. So that's going in. You do want it to have a bit of a, a coating, so it looks like a lot of oil, but it's actually not. We're gonna be forming our meatballs. I don't wanna make them too big because they'll take longer to cook and they're gonna be more prone to drying out. You wanna just do like that size. We want to make sure that the pan's hot and preheated because when we put this meatball in here, we want it to get a nice sear and we want it to be golden and crunchy. So I think it's ready. I'm going to drop that in. Ah, see? That's the sound you want to hear. At this point, you want to go pretty quickly. If you go to turn your meatball and it's kind of sticking to the pan a little bit, you just want to let it chill out and don't rush it, you're just gonna wait till it's you know, released from that pan. See that nice golden crust? That looks really good. We're gonna transfer these to a plate. And then we're going to use all these little crunchy bits that are on the pan to start the sauce. Okay, so it's just gonna take a quick rest. Now we're gonna go in with our onions and garlic that we chopped before. All of those crispy bits that are at the bottom of the pan, that's where all the flavor is. So kind of want to scrape those up. So now the onion and garlic are nice and golden, we're going to go in with our tomato sauce. So today I'm going to be using a combination of canned tomatoes and also a passata. So this is exactly like this, except this is blended. So I like to use a combo because I do like that chunky feel. And now for our canned tomatoes. So you can use whatever tomatoes you'd like. I do recommend using a peeled tomato because you don't get those bits of skin on there and it's a bit of a smoother finish. So these are just gonna go right in there. These are gonna finish cooking in the sauce. So all of that juicy flavor of the meat is gonna marry in the sauce. So now that the meatballs are in, these are gonna be on low and simmer for about 20 minutes. So the meatballs are cooking away, we're gonna get our pasta cooked. Today I'm gonna to be using a spaghettini. So it's actually thicker than a linguine, but not as thick as a spaghetti. So it's the perfect pairing with these meatballs. And the number one rule about cooking pasta is putting enough salt in the water. So I know this is intimidating for people, but a good way to think about it is you want it to be just as salty as the Mediterranean Sea. So we're gonna go in with about two tablespoons of salt. Our pasta is all done and it's drained. The tomatoes can be really acidic. So adding a few pinches of salt at the end will really 
eliminate that kind of like acidic metal taste almost. We're gonna toss our pasta into our sauce. Make sure every last strand is coated. So when you're plating a long noodle, it's a good idea to kind of twirl it a little bit in the pan, and then when you get it into the bowl, it's already kind of in a little bit of a ball. And then we're gonna put our meatballs right on top. Let's do three. We are going to garnish this with some fresh basil and some grated cheese. So this is actually the cheese that we used in the meatball. So it's gonna be used also on top. Mm, that looks really good. And then my favorite herb ever, some nice basil. I'm just gonna tear that up and sprinkle it right on top. The basil adds a really beautiful sweetness to this. And now for the best part. Mmm, this is so good. Thanks for watching.